who's this handsome looking chap over here walking away from me? Hey! Hey guys, what's up? LD Shiloh here and welcome back to The Sims 4 Disney Princess Challenge. We are currently on Generation 3, which is why you are staring at Mother Gothel's evil face right now. She has kidnapped Rapunzel and forced her to live in this tower, but Rapunzel has had her own way with it and made it hideous over the years of living here. I also have another issue ongoing with the tower in that it's haunted. For some reason, by the bookshelf, there's an invisible person singing. Let me show you. See? There's nobody there, but they're singing. And unfortunately, they aren't a good singer. I've tried everything and I can't get rid of this ghost, so it might just be something we have to live with for the rest of our lives. <sighs> so speaking of our lives, let's get on with it. Now we'll just pretend that there isn't a tone deaf ghost haunting the tower. So I've actually decided to do something nice for Rapunzel as she's a teen currently, but she's almost a young adult. So I'm gonna send Mother Gothel out to get her a birthday present. And what Rapunzel really, really wants in life is a fish from over here. So we are sending Mother Gothel off fishing. Oh look, Rapunzel's home from school. Perfect timing. They won't even get to hang out. How unfortunate. Now we have to be really quick because Rapunzel must reach level eight in painting before she is a young adult. She's currently level seven. So we're almost there. Let's just get her butt up in the tower. And finally we can replace this creepy clown painting. Maybe that is why we're haunted by this voice. All we have to do is get rid of the clown painting and everything will be back to normal. So let's get painting Rapunzel. Hopefully she is inspired by her beautiful surroundings. All this disgusting stuff laying around probably isn't helping. We should definitely clean this place up. Hang on a second, what is this? <gasps> That's the lump of clay. She made it into a bowl. I wonder what else she can make it into. Hopefully something cool, not just a lump. <gasps> she made an Eiffel Tower. That is so cool. I'm gonna keep that forever. Let's put it um, over here, safe and sound on the floor. Hopefully nobody stands on it and squishes it. Okay, we're getting distracted from the real goal here, which is to reach level eight in painting. So let's do a nice abstract painting. Oh wow, that is pretty abstract. What is it? Okay, we're getting there. We're almost level eight. As soon as she's level eight, Mother Gothel can present her with her birthday fish and she can become a young adult. <gasps> she reached level eight. We are done. Now I'm gonna let her finish this painting first because it kind of looks like the scene from the movie. How perfect. All right, let's replace this painting of the creepy bunny. And now Rapunzel is ready to do her homework because I almost forgot about that. Wait, she's gonna become a young adult. She doesn't need to do homework ever again. She does, however, need to bake herself a cheeky cake. Only then will she be able to age up. And then we'll have Mother Gothel come home with the birthday present of her dreams, a catfish. Actually, that's pretty cool. Wow, there's a lot of cool stuff in Mother Gothel's inventory. Where is she hiding all this stuff? Where'd you put 50 carrots, huh? Where are you hiding those on your person? It would be funny if there's not actually a human body under there. It's all just carrots and fish contained in a dress in a womanly shape. Okay, that's weird. Let's just head home. And Rapunzel has finished her cake. So let's put some candles on it. Oh, it's so cute with the sprinkles. There we go. Okay, here comes Mother Gothel. <laughs> She's so creepy. Oh my gosh, is she itching? Did she catch something while she was out there? Oh no, school starts in an hour. We have to do the birthday right now. Present her with the fish of dreams, the catfish. I can only put it on the floor, so that is where you will find it. You're welcome. It's time to blow out the candles. Let's see what Rapunzel looks like as a young adult. Here we go. <gasps> I will never know. We'll have to give her a trait first. Rapunzel is good. She is a good person. So let's see what she looks like. Exactly the same somehow. I'm not sure what happened there. I don't know what I was expecting. Wait, uh-oh. What the heck is wrong with Mother Gothel? That looks horrifying. What's going on? She has an illness. Feels as if there is a swarm of invisible insects marching all over mother's skin. That is disgusting. We don't have a computer, so we can't order any medicine. We're living in a time without medicine. Is there something she could brew? Maybe a herbal remedy? De-stressing, insect repellent, it's a bit late for that. Soothing skin balm. Oh man, we need one of those. We're gonna have to go and find a locust. You stay here in the tower, Rapunzel. Mother Gothel's gotta go on holiday. So all we have to do is find some locusts. Where the heck do I find a locust around here? Whoa, what is this? 
I don't know, but I shall dig it up. Who knew Mother Gothel was one of the seven dwarves? What is it? A capsule? Maybe we'll have a locust inside. Mysterious time capsule. What the heck? What's a chasmic freely? Who put that horrifying thing in a time capsule? I'm never digging anything up ever again. I'm just here to get a locust and get out of here. Ah, what are those? What the heck? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna collect them. They're huge. They look like praying mantises. Ugh. Two mantis. Disgusting. Now let's see what these are. Ew, they're just as gross. They are stink bugs. Okay, not what we're looking for. Ooh, are they butterflies? Let's collect these. Okay, I think I've managed to catch everything except a locust. And what I've just realized is, I don't even need the skin balm anymore. She's totally fine now. Well, I'm just gonna keep collecting bugs for no reason. What the heck is that? That looks crazy, it's like a baby dragon. I want it. I'm gonna take that home as a present for Rapunzel. Ooh, it flew into her face. She got it, what is it? A dragon dragonfly, cool. Now I'm not gonna leave this place without a freaking locust. Ooh, a secret cave. Let's explore. What the heck? Step forward or retreat from the adventure. Let's go forward. Keep walking or fish. Well, I do love a lot of uh, fishing, so let's do some fishing. With toes dipped in the cold brook and a line cast in the water, Mother encountered one of nature's most fearsome fishing enthusiasts, Ursus Arctos. Okay. What? She was mauled by a bear? What the heck? That's a little unexpected. We should probably head home before this day gets any worse. I mean, can it get any worse? Thank goodness we are home back to the safety of our beautiful tower. Let's see what Rapunzel is up to. Oh no, the singing is still here. And I totally forgot about this fish on the floor. I'm gonna mount it. Let's add this bad boy to our collection of weird stuff lying around. Why does it look so angry? And why does that fish look like it's in love with it? I love it. Let's enable its emotional aura. Oh. It's a confident catfish. So clearly not much has changed while Mother Gothel has been gone on her day long expedition. Unfortunately, we didn't come back with a locust, but we do have a bunch of cool stuff. So we've got the mantis. Oh, there it is. Look at it. So weird. I wish we had a place to put these. There we go. That looks much better for displaying all the insects. So we've got the mantis and the glow flies. I think I also want to display the dragon dragonfly. That would be super cool. Whoa, how cool is that? Whoa, that is the most majestic thing I have ever seen. I'm gonna get rid of the mantis because it's freaking me out. Maybe the butterflies are a little less scary. And Mother Gothel is feeling much better after her little encounter with the bear. Maybe she should just do some nice peaceful reading for a while instead of going out and adventuring. Now we should probably put them both to sleep because it is 2 a.m. and tomorrow I have a plan. Um, guys, it's 8 a.m. You're oversleeping. Oh, thank goodness, somebody woke up, finally. And it's Rapunzel, and she wants breakfast. Where are the pancakes? Here they are. This will put Mother Gothel in a good mood. <gasps> look how cute that milk is! Oh, Ooh, look how good they look. Mother Gothel, get some of these. Now, the reason that we want Mother Gothel to be in a good mood today is because Rapunzel is gonna ask her if she will go and fish up one of her favorite fish for her. That way we can get Mother Gothel out of the house again and Rapunzel can get up to some antics now that she is a young adult. She's allowed to escape from the tower as long as Mother Gothel doesn't notice. So let's propose a crazy scheme to her. And if she goes along with it, then I guess she's gonna go out and get me a fish. Oh, I think that's a no. 12 seconds later. Maybe we talked her around. Perfect, so Mother Gothel, go get me that fish. And as soon as she leaves, Rapunzel can go and get changed into her outfit, quick. You can't leave the house in your pajamas. And just go and use the toilet because we don't want to have an accident on our first time outside. Oh my gosh, what's going on with her eyebrows? <laughs> Rapunzel is a freaky lady. I think she's ready. Let's take it slow. We don't want to rush anything. The only place she's ever been before is to school, which is right around that corner. So maybe if we go towards the park instead, we'll see something different. <gasps> she almost got run over. It's not safe out here. Okay, let's get across the road because I don't think Rapunzel knows that you're not supposed to stand in the street. Okay, that all went pretty well. Mother Gothel doesn't suspect a thing. She's just blissfully ignorant <gasps> and covered in scratches. Oh my gosh, is this from being mauled by a bear or is that something else? Why does she just constantly get sick? 
Doesn't seem to bother her though, it must be her immortality. Keeping her fresh. I hope it's not contagious. Hang on a second. Who's this handsome looking chap over here? Walking away from me, hey, hey. Hello. Whoa, his eyes looked really scary for a second then. But I won't let that put me off. I'm sure he's a very friendly chap. The first person I have ever met, aside from Mother Gothel. Let's talk about frying pans. He ran off. How did he get away so quickly? Ugh. Well, I guess we'd better go back to the tower before it gets dark. Who was that mysterious, handsome Flynn Rider? Okay, we made it back to the tower before Mother Gothel, so she doesn't suspect a thing. And she has to go to work in a second, so when she's gone, Rapunzel can now work on her new master plan. Now, I thought it'd be kind of cool if Rapunzel could go into the same cave that Mother Gothel went into and hopefully not get mauled by a bear. So that is the challenge that I'm going to set for Rapunzel, and I'm going to see if Flynn Rider will help me on my mission. So we should also probably take Pascal with us too. Let's go. Please, Flynn, I need your help. <gasps> We're all going on a trip. All right, we are here and it is really spooky. Maybe we should camp out here tonight. I feel really irresponsible wandering around in the woods with a child, but luckily Flynn's on it with the hot dogs. So let's send Rapunzel off to take care of the tent situation. Hello, sell me your best tent, please. Let's get this cute pink cabin and set this baby up over here. Right, everybody in the tent. Pascal, I know you're a lizard, but you still need to sleep. Oh, you had better not stay up all night, young lady. <gasps> who the heck just got in my tent? Some random person just got in. Uh, who is that? Yes, you've got the wrong tent, woman. Get out of here. Oh, Flynn Rider has woken up and he's running off somewhere. <gasps> Is he leaving me? He's supposed to be helping me get into that cave. Oh, he's just using the toilet. That's fine. Okay, it is time to wake up and have some breakfast. Ooh, these hot dogs are still good. Come get your moldy hot dogs. Delicious. Okay, now let's go up here to Granite Falls Forest. <gasps> oh no, I've been abandoned by Pascal and Flynn. I'll have to do this on my own. Where the heck was that cave again? There it is. Let's go inside. Oh, I'm scared. I hope she doesn't get mauled by a bear. Be safe, Rapunzel. Let's step forward into the brambles. Let's keep walking instead of fishing. Last time we did the fishing, we got mauled by a bear. Rapunzel feels she's on the verge of something special, something that will make this all worth it. Should Rapunzel take a quick nap or sally forth? Well, let's sally forth. Keep on going. Although a nap sounds quite nice right now. <gasps> Ooh, cove containing a mysterious sim. Travel towards the sim or leave the bramble patch. Well, we're gonna go say hello to this mysterious sim. Would you like to send Rapunzel into the deep woods? Okay, I'm kind of scared. Ooh, hermit's house. Who's hermit? Where are we? Check out this waterfall. That is beautiful. <gasps> There's a person's house here and it's so cute. Is this where the hermit lives? But where is the hermit? There he is! Maybe it's Pascal's long lost father. I like that outfit, dude. Ahoy there. Wow, okay, let's investigate his house a little bit. This place is super cute. And I love this statue. How cute is this place? The answer is very cute. Let's light a fire. Oh, perfect. Let's sit and enjoy the flames crackling. Oh, Abram, come sit by the fire with me. This is so delightful. But we should probably be getting back now because we kind of left Flynn and Pascal at the campground alone. Hopefully she remembers the way back and doesn't get mauled by a bear. Do not fear friends, I am home. Oh no, Pascal's camouflaging with the ground. And Flynn looks absolutely miserable. Let's go and cheer him up a little bit. Let's tell him that we're attracted to him. Oh, he didn't like that. Oh, oh no. What the heck? Why did you put the fire out? That fire was a metaphor for our passion. Please love me. My storyline requires it. Okay, let's not rush things. I'm gonna have Rapunzel head back home. Otherwise, Mother Gothel will notice we're missing. And I don't want her to find out about Pascal and Flynn. Oh no, Mother Gothel's right there talking to her plants. To her dead plants. Does she realize that they're dead? You know what, we can probably sneak past her. She seems pretty unobservant. Let's just go right around and then get up in the tower. And we're still back in time for leftover pancakes. So that is where I'm going to leave it for today's episode of The Sims 4 Disney Princess Challenge. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know by leaving a like on this video and I will see you next time.